Still top of the league. Formation started to drop off. So we've changed it. Of course we have. Because I am restless. We have Mansfield in the second round proper of the FA Cup. Then Barnet in the league. Welcome back. Episode 3 now, I believe. As I say, we're top of the league. We're two points clear with the game in hand, actually, which I've just noticed, which is pretty decent. Mullin scoring goals for fun. Happy days. Uh, as I said, we've got Mansfield now. We managed to scrape past Fylde in the, uh, was it, the added yeah, replay. That's the one. Even went to penalties on that. But uh, the new formation seems to be doing a job for us. Before we jump into it, though, in its entirety, if you do me the favour, like, subscribe. As we know, does the wonder. And I would vastly appreciate it. The first game since the last episode uh, was a 5-2 loss to Torquay. As little said about that, the better. Followed that up with a 3-2 win against Maidenhead. Changed the formation. It's kind of worked, but it wasn't quite there. Reverted back to our weird 3-4-3 with a 3-1 win away against Yeovil. The FA Cup game against Fylde now. A goal disallowed for us really early. A really late goal for them to pull the replay. Before we got to the replay, we had to play Bromley in the league. Absolutely battered them. Come away with a 2-0 win. I'm trying to keep the striker tactic going on, but looks like it's edging towards a diamond. Which uh, didn't work in the following game away against Gateshead. Um, I say it didn't work. We play better than them. We arguably deserve the win. We lost 3-1. Uh, in the space of three minutes, we conceded three goals. We fully embraced the diamond for the replay against Fylde. Another goal disallowed for us. Uh, except we're the team on this one that came back. Uh, Oli Palmer getting an 87th minute equaliser. Nothing happened in extra time. And then penalties was uh, much more simpler. And most recently, with a quite heavily rotated team, we beat Boreham Wood 3-0. Um, Gormley getting a brace and Asante getting a goal as well. And our team, to play Mansfield, we have Langton in goal. Hazana, Ainson, Tossa and McFadzine as the back four. Jones just in front of those with O'Connor and Bostock as our Mazalas. Lee supporting the strikers of Palmer and Mullin. So we're just coming up towards half an hour. Um, Mansfield are actually in League 2, so potentially there could be a team that we're playing next year. So it'd be good for us to get a result to show that we have capabilities to, to fight in that division. Um, they think it's a Monday Night Football. I only just realised. How funny. Haha. <laughs> Brilliant. O'Connor has a corner for us on the left side, towards Palmer at the back post. I've changed these corner tactics about 15 times, and I think every time I do it, it's in-game. So we're not actually aiming our corners towards Palmer. That doesn't... Don't need to. Don't need to aim corners towards Palmer, because Jones will just rip one in from there. 39th minute. Harbottle has a throw-in. Throws it short to Maris, Boateng, and uh, Harbottle on the ball once more. There's just the five minutes left of the half. Oh, <sighs> How was that being allowed to squeeze in? That's so poor. Um, I've noticed, or you've probably noticed, that I've dropped uh, the goalkeeper. Uh, he conceded those five goals in the game against the team who I've uh, decided to forget who they are. Um, so yeah, I haven't played him for a little while. Disappointed me. Tosser on the ball. Back to Langton. He knocks it out towards Mafadzin on that left side. There's a gap here to run through. No, just smashes it forward. Loose possession, of course. Oates on the ball for Mansfield. Tries to feed it through. Bowery just bends it. Who needs to attack? Who needs to build attacks and do things when you can just bend it in from 30 yards? So half time's passed. I've taken out um, Mullen, brought in Gormley for him. Because, um, to be quite honest, it's annoying me. He's literally done nothing today. We've gone through the hour mark as well. Uh, I moved us up to positive, but it's behind my head so you can't see it. Bowery challenged... Well, I would say challenge for that header, but there was no intention. Uh, Oates has the ball for Mansfield. Through, and he nearly got himself a third assist. Hartigan with a free kick on the left. Towards the back post. It's alright. He's got a goal of his own now. 20 minutes left. Uh, I don't know what we can do. Other than deal with it. Uh, I think that's going to be the option, isn't it? Um, Elliot Lee can come out for Haygarth. Bring in Bostock out for Jordan Davies as well. I think that's going to be a good option. Davies with the free kick very deep. Puts it in to, well, I was going to say towards Tosser, but he didn't challenge it. Pim absolutely launches that. Our goal is going to pick it up now and hopefully build an attack uh, on which we can score two goals. I don't think that's going to happen. Tosser moves forward. Out to McFadden on the left side. There's no one here to support him. He knocks it forward anyway. Gormley, Davies, Palmer. Oh, and he skies it. Oh, dear. There's, there's a highlight. At the very end, Davies might get us a goal back for this free kick. 
towards the top left hand side. What are you saying? He pops it in. Oh, and a brilliant save from Pim. Haygarth isn't able to pick up the loose ball. Whistle's blown. We're out of the pissing cup. We deserve to be. Ah, uh, kind of. I'm a little bit sore. Our lineup to play Barnet. We have Langton in goal once more. McLaughlin, Hayden, Tunnicliffe, and Davies as the back four. O'Connor just in front of those with Haygarth and Bostock as the midfield. Lee, Palmer, and Mullin as the top three. Davies with a free kick out on the right. Puts it all the way to the back post towards Mullin. Oh, and it's just over. Lawless with a free kick on the uh, left side for Barnet. Oh, it's nodded in and it kicked away. Uh, well, okay, they were going to pick up the loose ball, but don't worry about it. We've got a few guys on Lil Knox, so I want to bring them off. Bostock being one of them. Okay, this isn't this isn't helpful at all. I've got no one <laughs> here that could actually do the things that I need to be done. Uh, Bostock's going to play the rest of the game, even though he's currently injured. I'm sure you'll get over it. Uh, Elliot Lee... Don't have an option. Okay, no, actually, we'll bring Lee back. We'll put Bostock in for Gormley. We'll drop Mullin in. Lee can definitely be able to do that. He'll learn it on the job. I'm sure he'll be fine. 67 on the clock. Here's our highlight. Right, Haygarth. Kicks it randomly forward. Davies. Just make sure you go. You can't go anywhere. Saki. All the way into the middle. Hayden wins the header. Haygarth picks up the loose ball. Right, Tossa. Knocks it forward. Gormley. Used his head. Wasn't expecting him to use his head. As soon as he did use his head, I assumed it was going to be pointless and a waste of my time. <laughs> it's in there. Of course it is. Why would I doubt him? Haygarth knocks it short to Tosser. He just boshes it upfield. Gormley runs in. <laughs> Header after the bounce. Finds a bottom corner. What a guy. I mean, that's that's it. We're all but there. Oh, there's a highlight. There's literally 63 seconds of the game left. Nodded back to Langton in goal for us. Let's just not lose possession for no reason. You can see the goal. He launches it up towards the left side. Loses possession for no reason. Oh, and Davies has kicked someone. Okay, it's a red card. In injury time. In a game you're winning. For no reason. Number one, Patrick Deman. He's definitely not Patrick Deman. He's Jordan Davies. There we go, we got it right. Uh, I can't do anything with that. We'll bring Tosser in, I suppose, and see if any of these guys want to play left. They don't. Well, fair enough. We'll just crack on with that then, shall we? Oh no, they're actually taking the free kick. Oh, surely not. Goalie, collect, wonderful. The time's gone, ref. Blow the whistle. Whenever you want, just blow, blow. We'll all move on. Still still going. McLaughlin's kept that in for some reason. It's, it's gone, it's gone. The whistle's blown. And that result does leave us five points clear at the moment, which is pretty strong. We've still got Chesterfield behind us, and then three points behind them, Aldershot. So we can just carry this on and stop trying to trip over ourselves. So now we're out of the FA Cup. We don't need to come back for that. We do have the FA Trophy, which we do need to bear in mind, but I'm not going to come back for that until we get quite late in the competition. So I'm thinking I might return for Dagenham and Redbridge Solly or Moors. But if you have enjoyed today's episode, do me a favour, like, subscribe, share your support on the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, there will be some items on screen as well, so you can carry on watching. And thank you very much for your time.